more Ryzen mobile notebooks are finally on their way. Plus, AMD is working on their GPU division. And are you an Intel Haswell or Broadwell owner? Do not install the new Spectre and Meltdown patches. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Meld. Up until now, HP has been the only manufacturer to incorporate AMD's new mobile APUs into products. Well, they're finally not alone as both Acer and Lenovo have fully unveiled their laptops originally shown off last year. First up is the Acer Swift 3, and it comes in two flavors, one based off AMD's Ryzen 5 2500U with 8 Vega Compute units, 8GB of dual-channel DDR4 that isn't upgradable, and a 256GB SSD. The second notebook utilizes the Ryzen 7 2700U with 10 Compute units, the same 8GB of non-upgradable dual-channel DDR4 RAM, but a 512GB SSD. Now it doesn't say whether these SSDs are PCI Express or not, so we'll assume that they're SATA for now. Both come with the same 15.6 inch 1080p IPS panel, a fingerprint reader, backlit keyboard, as well as the same I.O. Speaking of I.O., they boast an 802.11ac dual band Wi-Fi module, one USB 3.1 Type-C, two USB 3.0 Type-A ports, one USB 2.0, and one HDMI port. The Ryzen 5 model comes in at a seemingly reasonable $749, while the Ryzen 7 2700U model will set you back another $200 at $949 US. If you're interested in purchasing either of these, I'll have my Amazon affiliate link in the description, and you can get them now with an expected shipping date of February 9th. Next up is Lenovo's offering, the IdeaPad 720S. This new laptop comes equipped with a 13.3 inch 1080p IPS panel, Ryzen 5 2500U, 8GB single channel DDR4 2133 RAM, which it is important to note that Vega is very dependent on memory bandwidth, so hopefully this won't affect its performance by too much, but I don't know. It also comes with a 512GB PCI Express SSD, fingerprint reader, Dolby Atmos, 802.11ac Wi-Fi, and also Bluetooth 4.1. Then there's two USB 3.0 ports, one USB 3.0 Type-C with power delivery, which gives you more juice than your usual USB port. Then there's a regular USB 3.0 Type-C port and an audio jack. You can get this at Lenovo's site for $1,049, which with the exception of Bluetooth and the PCI Express SSD, that is a seemingly high price compared to Acer's offerings. With that said, laptops can be very different given throttling, power dissipation, etc., so we'll have to wait for reviews to be sure. Next up for today, AMD has officially signed on two new executives to lead the Radeon graphics division in lieu of the recently departed Raja Kaduri. First up is Mike Rayfield, who's been hired on as a senior VP and general manager of AMD's Radeon graphics division. Mr. Rayfield once headed the NVIDIA mobile division that was responsible for the creation of NVIDIA's Tegra chip. The second hire, David Wang, is coming in as a senior VP of engineering for AMD's Radeon division. Mr. Wang has worked for Synaptics prior to the hire, but he's also worked for AMD in the past. Hopefully these two new faces will spark a fire under AMD's graphics card division to push the boundaries on GPUs so they can better compete with Nvidia. Fingers crossed. Lastly for today is an update from Intel on the issue of random reboots plaguing Haswell and Broadwell-based platforms after the Spectre and Meltdown patches. Originally, it was found out that Intel was telling data centers not to deploy the updates just yet, and on the 11th, they still told end users to continue deploying their updates. Well, after finding out the cause of the crashes, Intel wants Haswell and Broadwell users not to update their system with the latest Meltdown Inspector patches just yet. This means everyone, as well as end users. They're working on a new patch, so hopefully it will be out soon. In the meantime, don't download it. So while that does it for today... What did you think of the news? Wanting to pick up a new Ryzen mobile notebook? Or are you just worried because you already have the new Intel patches on your Haswell or Broadwell system? Let me know down in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.